Hey guys, what's up? This is Money B One Two Three coming to you today. In this video, I want to talk to you about uh, one of the one prepaid cell phone carrier and about some changes that they're about to make to their service. And what I want to talk to you about is Page Plus Cellular. Page Plus Cellular is a uh, MVNO of Verizon. They're a mobile virtual network operator, and uh, that just means that they operate off of another off of another network. And so Page Plus uses Verizon. So when you talk on Verizon, when you use their service, you're actually using you're using Verizon. When you, you use Page Plus, you're talking on Verizon. Uh, and I've got a review video talking about Page Plus, and I'll link to that. And I'll tell a lot of the different things about that and about their plans and and some some different things that go along with that. Um, but what I want to talk about today is today is September 9th, 2014, and an announcement was made today that that Page Plus is about to have 4G LTE and they're saying sometime in October which of course that can always get pushed off so I wouldn't be surprised if it was a month or two later than that but they are getting 4G LTE um, Verizon's own prepaid service got 4G LTE uh, I think it was two or three months ago so their Page Plus is just kind of following uh, in line with with what they did with their own prepaid there so that's going to be pretty tempting for a lot of people to be able to get on Page Plus and to be able to use use that network, a prepaid network, and actually get Verizon's 4TE, 4G LTE network. I was on uh, Page Plus for a long time, and because of some limitations that they had, I, I eventually got off of Page Plus. I used several different several different carriers, went back to Page Plus a couple times, and then. Now I've been off of them for probably a year and a half now and have been using AT&T uh, prepaid services. But with the change that they're making, it's really going to make it a lot more tempting for me to go back to Page Plus now. So them adding 4G LTE is going to be good for two different reasons. Number one is you're going to actually get a 4G SIM card from Page Plus. And the reason that's good is you're going to be able to actually use 4G Verizon phones on Page Plus's network. Whereas you could use those 4G phones on Page Plus's network now, but the problem with it is is that you have to do uh, flashing and it, it takes a lot of work to be able to get them to work on there. Now you're going to be able to get a 4G SIM card from Page Plus and have any 4G capable smartphone and be able to use it without doing any flashing and so that's going to be very sweet so if you want to use um, a Gal Samsung Galaxy Note 3 from Verizon if you want to use that on Page Plus whenever they start offering this 4G you can, you can do that you could use that Note 3 bef right now actually but like I said you'd have to flash it it takes a lot of work and you only get 3G on it so Verizon's 3G network is is pretty terrible it maxes out at 2 megabits per second so not not too good there on that so you can get Samsung Galaxy Note 3 um, I saw on this dealer who announced this today this is not an official announcement from Page Plus yet it's from this dealer um, but the question was asked can you use an iPhone 5s on there and the dealer said yes so um, you know Page Plus just very recently within the last month or so somewhere around there um, announced that, that you could officially use an iPhone 4 or 4s on, on their service whereas before you could always you could always activate that phone on your on your page plus account but they never officially allowed that to happen like I said a month or so ago they came out and officially said you can start using those so it only makes sense that whenever they get 4G that you'll be able to use iPhone 5, iPhone 5S and 5C and, and all those so that'll be an option any 4G Android phone any 4, 4G Windows phone will be able to be used on on um, on page plus so that's that's probably one of really the major thing for me is that I can use any any phone you want to now on page plus whereas that cape that limitation was there before so we're we're past that limitation now whenever that finally comes into effect so that's one one of one of my main hang-ups was being able to get whatever device I want to on their service the second hang-up was obviously speed 3G speed on Verizon is terrible. Like I said, it maxes out at two megabits per second, and a lot of times it's worse than that, and it's just not pleasurable to use that. Um, so, 
should be getting 4G LTE. Who knows if they're going to throttle that in any kind of a way. Um, I use, like I said, I've, I've used a lot of AT&T prepaid services and some of, of those at and prepaid services let you have full access to LTE. Now they're, well, I could go into a lot of stuff, but on, on some of them, I've done uh, speed tests and getting 20 or 25 megabits per second on an AT&T prepaid service. On some of them, those AT&T prepaid services, it maxes out at 8 megabits per second. Even though they do say you get LTE, they max them out at 8 megabits per second. So who knows what's going to happen on that with Page Plus. If, if Page Plus will get the full LTE experience or if it will be semi-LTE and you'll just get a, a throttled version of that. Who knows? That we'll, we'll see what happens on that later, but regardless of where they throttle it at, you should still see way, way faster speeds than their 3G network right now. And so even if they do throttle it at eight or, or whatever it might be, then that's still, that's still acceptable and way better than where Page Plus is currently at right now. So from what I understand, if, if you're on Page Plus and you know about their plans, you cannot use the 4G with the with the 12, which is a $12 plan, and with their standard plans where you just buy a certain number of minutes. Those plans will not be able to get the 4G. Um, so I, I mean, I understand the frustration with that, but really, if you have 10 megabytes of data on the 12, your 10 megabytes are going to get are going to flash by in just a few minutes on 4G which I realize that's really not the problem. The problem is is that if you're on the 12, you won't be able to use that 4G phone as it is. You'll still have to do go through the flashing process, the, the pain in the rear that that can be on, uh, on any, of the, any newer phones if you want to be on the 12 with, uh, with Page Plus. So anyways, that's the main announcement. That's what I want to talk about is that, that Page Plus is supposed to be getting 4G LTE. That's pretty cool. It may change my mind on where I'm at right now. May decide to go back to that. AT&T and Verizon have pretty good um, have have a pretty good presence in, in my area. So I really could be good with either one of them, and um, may be tempted to start looking back at some Verizon phones. At least I can start looking at those phones again and can kind of start uh, being able to look at the, look at look at those again. Anyways, so. That's uh, that's what I want to talk about today. 4G LTE coming to Page Plus in in October is what the announcement has said. Again, it's not official from Page Plus, but in October. But don't be surprised if it's a little bit later than that. I I wouldn't. So, thanks for watching today.